Michael had suggested that we do a collaborative residency. Beth took us through the library mm -hmm. and she stopped to show us the medieval, the uh, encyclopedia, mm -hmm. the etymologiae. Mm -hmm. Then she said, oh, and you need to see this. And mm -hmm. I think she pulled out uh, the Debello Judaico, which means the Jewish Wars, which was written in the second century AD. And then this was a copy that was made in Germany in the 12 1280. And we both became so excited that we asked Beth if she would mm -hmm. bring out that material for us to really look at it. Well, Judy's a medieval scholar and, and can read Latin. She couldn't quite, she could figure out parts of it, but, but a good bit of Not it, medieval Latin. a good bit of it she just couldn't translate. And so that really had us reading the book in a completely different way. Um, so, you know, you're, you're looking at the colors of the, the illustrations, and that's made with a rock mineral, and that color has a certain quality. Um, it has a certain materiality. The vellum that's made from calf skin, uh, where that would have little uh, sewn scars or little holes or imperfections very much um, like any of, any of us might have. You know, we were thinking um, that we somehow want to enter the book and understand it more. So we, we found the wonderful honey locust thorns. Um, one of my students had, from RIT, had translated uh, that into glass. And we've used this as a, a divination device to, to choose certain words from the book. So wherever this point ended up on, on the book, we then would take those words, and actually uh, Stephen White uh, is a medieval scholar, and he could read that. So there are several words that appeared. That became really interesting. And then we would go from there uh, into the studio here, and we start looking at the plate glass we had ordered, and not really having a plan of what we wanted to do, we began to look at that plate glass in a very different way. Um, the way it is made, uh, hot glass meets cold steel, and then it's rolled. And so the, the edges are quite natural. It, it really reminds you of a kind of deckled edge of, of, of ripped paper, um, not unlike the vellum we were looking at. Um, when, you, when hot glass hits cold steel and is rolled, there's chill marks. We call them chill marks. And it gives, it's the same kind of texture as skin and produce the same kind of imperfections. So that's when we decided uh, that these were very much like pages. Um, so we took a rubber mold off of it and, and produced waxes, but we didn't know exactly what we wanted to do. So I think that's we right. went back to the library. <laughs> we, we went, well, we, we took the mold and what we wanted to do was honor the makers of the glass rather than just cutting the glass up and using it to make something. It was like, this is its own artwork just like each one of those pages, made by hand. So it wasn't simply a commodity to get on with, but it, was a, it had its own life. And the skin of the vellum had made us aware. I had also been working at Tamron Institute, which is a lithography institute in Albuquerque, for two weeks before I flew here uh, on the con with the concept of skin, looking at the stone as skin. All, all sides of the lithography stone. So there's the, this theme surfaced for both of us. As a matter of fact, it was Michael who woke up one morning, you said, oh, why don't we just work with the skin of the glass itself? Mm -hmm. And it had come to him not in a dream, but just at that liminal state of sleep-wake. And it was the perfect. And that was after we had off of one of the Let's take sheets. a mold off. You said, let's take a mold off. And of course, I don't have the glass experience that Michael has uh, since I come from being a painter and a writer. Um, but I have worked with glass for five years, but not like Michael but it, has because over the years. you're a, a painter and a writer made me make that connection Amazing. of thinking of that as a kind of almost rectangular canvas. You know? uh -huh. Interesting. And yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's been a remarkable collaboration. 